anything in here. Ooh, lots of flamer fuel. Oh, that's what I was hearing. Give me that. Oh, there's a literal flamer there as well. You know, let me just see something. I'll see if she'll take the flamer. God damn. Well, at least they give you the tools to fucking deal with them. Let's distribute the weight. Add flamer. And... Have all the flamer fuel. Ah, you do not want it. That is unfortunate. Alright. Nope. Okay, don't need that. Whenever you pull up the map, is that his watch? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a device called a Pip Boy. It's basically a personal computer on your wrist. I don't think the empty syringe. Just because I can use that to make stim packs. I'll take that. I opened up the crew quarters specifically. Oh Jesus! Ooh, thank you. Wow, she just blew his head off. And I don't believe the spark carriers literally get, they don't have anything. Ooh. I'll take that out. Oh shit. I literally, that took me a second. I was like, wait, what? Enemies nearby. He's wondering why I keep taking the vault jumpsuits. It's because they're really easy to repair. Okay. Because I can just go like this. I need a bit more repair. Definitely. Damn. All right. Let's Oh. Sorry. like a wonderful place to have a nap. Let's get some just sleep in a fairy ring. 
Time to head to the Feywild. Okay. Anything else down here? No, I think we're good. So back up. Nothing in the lockers. It's like this is like a little cafeteria. Yeah. That. Yeah, I'm. All right, take it easy, Cass. I literally, I didn't even see where that came from. Oh, they're... It's all you guys. But if I recall... Yep. Oh. Disengage. Alright. Ah, it's just rude. <laughs> Mother. Son of a... Too high. There we go. Blew its goddamn head off. So I was expecting a literal like ambush to drop on me. I come through? No, I didn't. Tales of a junk town jerky vendor. Ooh. I'll take more barter. Okay, mm. just 
don't need any of that. Anything kicking around there? No, we got nothing. Oh, they will. Got him. I don't even know where you went. Hi. Oh, nice shot. I didn't even see the giant pussy monster. Mushrooms now. Oh no, that's just basically a thing to secure to the floor. Nothing else that'll make shit easier later. I covered the sixty odd miles to the Tully Ranch near Amarillo in just less than an hour. Got in touch with the foreman and told him what I wanted. He told me. Okay, I guess we'll don't see a thing. Sure? Darn sure. And you described right. folks named Martin. That doesn't mean a thing. Probably a phony name. Sure could be. Alright. You want to do but how is this smart? Big is this fucking cave system. Knock knock. See this Orwell was riding That's what he left the Williams. Well, this Clark was riding flat. Man can change horses well as his name. Sure. You think he start out this morning? Yeah, throw the spurs to you. Tell him what I want it done. That'll help some. It's like You do not touch the cats. How dare you? Yeah, thankfully the spore plants do not move. And these things have nothing in them. Got a midair. Oh, card wheels. Hmm. Guess who won the lottery? It was late afternoon when I spotted him. There we go. Got it. So they just fucking pollinated down here like a motherfucker. Wasn't 
Oh. Hey. Took your sweet time. I suppose the NCR sent you. Uh. Yes, Angela Williams asked me to come find you. Oh, she's such a dear. Not like that pompous little Peden she works for. But that's neither here nor there. These plants have gotten completely out of control. I've got a plan to deal with them, but I'll need your help. Sure, I'll be glad to help. Good. Meet me on the second level, and I'll explain what needs to be done. Okay. Okay, second level will do. Jeez. Yep. All right, Keely, lead the way. Fuck, ghouls are made of some stern stuff. Just absolute badasses. Tech machinery is so fragile. I had to jury rig this elevator a few days, and it's on the fritz again already. Ah, that's got it. See you upstairs. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, second level. Don't need to go there. Remember seeing a restored terminal? Is that where she's at? Hmm. Okay. There you are. Hey, what's up? Good, you're here. Ready to begin? Sure. Okay. Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are toxic to humans. Playing cards with your aunt, so let's leave the stream on for now until the game's over. Oh, oh I appreciate that. Ignite it should destroy the vast majority of spores. There's one problem, though. The gas becomes semi-inert on exposure to oxygen, meaning the gas will have to be ignited close to where it's being introduced. I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh. And survive the resulting blast. Ooh. Sounds dangerous, but I'll do it. Good. Return to me when it's done. Uh. I suppose you have questions. Hurry up and ask them. Uh. Has your research turned up anything interesting? Here and there. But a lot of the data has been corrupted, and all the live samples have been contaminated by the spore plants. One interesting thing I found is that one of the chemicals secreted by the spore plant serves as a mild stimulant when ingested by humans. Oh, cool. As far as I can tell, it has no side effects or addictive properties. Aside from the inherent psychological ones, of course. Neat. Now that I think of it, there was a Corporal Farber back in McCarran who'd probably be interested in it. There's a sample of it around here somewhere. Okay. Bye. No. Okay. Well, let me, let me read the quest. Find the vent kill. Let's see what you got. Uh, give me the flamer and the flamer. Okay, uh, and, uh. Away when you 
Oh, I want to go to pest control. So I want to go to the fifth level. Oh shit. It's on the other side of this. Don't see a thing. Oh, you come to say hi? Hi. National Wheaties Week. Gotcha. National Wheaties Week. Oh, you do? Data. Found it. Now from the files of the Texas Rangers come these stories based on facts. Only names, dates, and places All right. are fictitious for obvious Okay. The events themselves are a matter of record. Uh, let me save here. Tonight's case, Fool's Gold. I give you any Let's distribute the weight. Crap. After 9 a.m. on Tuesday after late 1944. Nope. Ah. Crap. The case fool's gold. Shit. Damn it. Trying to time it. Okay, and I can't close no, that door. Like this. <laughs> Ain't got but two I need a grenade or something. Okay. Flamer is a bad idea. Tonight's case, fool's gold. Let's It is shortly after 10 a.m. on the Tuesday after Labor Day, 1996. Two men in a late model black sedan cruise slowly along the main street. 
Okay. Crap. I need some form of grenade. Tonight's case, fool's gold. Crap. Tuesday after Labor Day, 1946. Two men in a late model black sedan cruise slowly along the main street of the town of Live Oak in West Texas. Give me one second then. All right. Let's go over it once more. We've been over it 20 times, boy. Let's get it done. I ain't taking a chance on you making any mistakes. I ain't making mistakes. Think I want to go back Kay. to Huntsville again? Haven't done anything but case this bank since I got out of the pen a month ago. Okay, I will be right back. I hope you all enjoyed the radio play. Let's continue. All right. Wait, I need a... The Texas Highway Patrol threw a guard around the wrecked cars huh? and notified the Texas Rangers of the attempted bank holdup and the fatal crash. I'm Ranger Jace Pearson was assigned to the case. The hell? Howdy, Jace. Glad to see you. Howdy, Rhodes. Am I... Can I literally not leave? I did. I was patrolling near Landmar when the call came through. Which one was the bandit car? The black sedan. Who was in the coupe? A man and his kid. They took away. We didn't miss anything by not huh. the case. Where are the bodies? The doctor had him taken to the hospital basement. How about the bank teller? He's alive, but he's unconscious. Deputy sheriff's with him. One of the stick-up men got killed in the crash here. Yeah. Been able to find the driver? No, no, not yet. Cut down that street and into the hills, according to witnesses. Sheriff has the dogs and coffee with him. Who owns the sedan? Do we? Don't know is there, the like, sedan. literally... Let's have a look at it. Okay. Understandably, like, a grenade, a Molotov, anything? Blood on both sides. There's a little clue. I suppose you have questions. Why is it... Are you kidding me? This place is under quarantine. We can't let a single spore get out of this place if we can help it. Say there'd be a blast? Oh, yes. I imagine there'll be quite an explosion when the gas gets set off. Fire will probably expand throughout the entire level in mere moments. How am I supposed to survive that? That does pose a problem, doesn't it? If you could seal yourself inside a room before the explosion went off, you might be protected from the blast. Then again, the flames will probably blow into the rooms down there. Maybe if there were a room that was reinforced. Well, I'm sure you'll figure something out. Bye. Okay. Is there a... A workbench or something? Like, so I can make a fucking Molotov or something? Because I... Don't know... How I'm supposed to, like, activate it and get the door closed. Is there, some, is there something I'm missing? Is there, a f like, some form of explosive up here? I'm annoyed with myself because I don't have any of my dynamite on me. Anything on him, or any of that no, shit. Not even a mark. Might have <sighs> Which is my fault, 100%. No, that wouldn't help. Rhodes, we can fingerprint this one. Might help us find his pal that way. Okay. Was there something else Do favor, in Doc? Sure. down in pest Do control? Way, cut himself on this glass. Before I send it to Austin, I'd like to get his blood type from him. Can you do it now? Sure. Come upstairs to the lab in 15 minutes. Have it for you, okay? Thanks. That blood type would give you something to go on, Jace. I hope we don't need it. I wish there was some word from the sheriff's mm. office. And if they had, I'm not afraid we'd have heard from them. Right. Damn it. We might as well walk over to the sheriff's office while we're waiting for the doctor. Okay. So we can go through the next room and up the front stairs. Nope. We don't okay. need that. I thought that was, there was like a chem set thing. Or is that just in Fallout 4? Okay. I know the room we need to be in. Maybe you ought to go home. Why should I go home? 
Radio, give me the power to beat my antenna game cards. Uh, depends on the game of cards. Hey, look, it's part of the sheriff's posse. Hey, you find them? No, follow the blood trail cross country, but it made the river and we lost it. No chance of getting him now. It's called trash. Well. <clears throat> The power I grant is to the ant to defeat you, AJ. I'm sending the good vibes towards them. Mohahaha. Got it yet, Doc? Uh-huh. Just finished. Blood types A B. A B, huh? Come across that very often. No, just very rare. About one in oh, excuse me, Ranger. Go ahead. Hang on. Somehow ignite the gas. I'd like to get his blood type from him. Can oh. Do it now. Sure. Go upstairs to the lab in 15 minutes. Have it for mm. you. Thanks. What blood type will give you something to go on, Jace? I hope you don't need it. Unless there was some word from the sheriff. Disengage the lock. Wasn't really. Might as well walk over to the sheriff's office while we're waiting for the doctor. I meant to go. We can go through the next room and up the front stairs. Save here. Okay. <laughs> Did you come to see my boy and my husband? Did you know? Huh. I didn't. Hey, give me one second. Because uh, those notifications that you just heard should be off. Nobody's there now. He wanted his daddy to be the one to take him to school. He was just being registered. Take it easy, man. There we go. My apologies. All last night he slept with his little red pencil box in his head. Okay. Never even learned to write his name. Now let's figure this out. Not here. No. Could be my wife and kid. Yours. Okay. Deputy reported he's still unconscious. We can look in the room when we get back to the hospital. Hey, look. Did I get it? Oh, oh. oh! I almost had it. Okay. Okay. But now I think I've got it. Okay. So do this. Okay, actually. Maybe you ought to get him to stay off. Why should we go home? Aid. He wanted his daddy to be the one to take him to school. Take a medics. First day. 
Ah, crap. Buffo. Case warning, I'm literally just trying to, I'm going to try and tank it. Okay, I survived it. Oh, Lord. That was fucking brutal. Uh, after this, I, I need to... It took a lot of my stuff, but hey, we made it through. Okay. Yes, yes. How many drugs I had to take to get through that? Ah, good. You survived. I was beginning to think you hadn't. You'll be pleased to know that the spore should no longer be a problem. Now all that's left is to ensure that none of this ever happens again. The research that led to these abominations must be erased. What needs to be done? I've managed to create a connection to the vault's backup system from here. I just have to remotely delete all the files, and we're done here. Will it take long? No, it shouldn't take all that long. Just a few more moments, and that's strange. The system says that the files were accessed recently and copied to an external source. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Actually, I copied the files. Hildern sent me here to get them. Yes, that sounds like something he'd do. Well, there's nothing for it, then. Those files need to be erased. Hold out your arm and I'll have it done in a flash. Sign 70. Deleting those files makes it more likely that this will happen again. How do you figure that? Science isn't just about success. Failures are just as important to learn from. I suppose the data here could serve as a warning to other scientists. Tell them what paths of research not to follow. Exactly. Without that knowledge, something similar is bound to occur. All right. You convinced me. Take the files back to that buffoon. You make a good point. But I still honestly hope you know what you're doing. I've unlocked the door, so you're free to run along now. Although it pains me to say it. I wouldn't have made it out of here without your help. No problem. If you're heading back toward McCarran, tell Dr. Williams that she has my thanks as well. No problem. Everything sucks right now. I drove out there. Oh. Howdy. Your name is Romer? All right. Let's get the heck out of here. Yes, yes. I know I'm addicted to something. It sucks. But thankfully, I can go get that taken care of. I was on so many drugs. Uh, give me that. 
You heard me. Those gold teeth say you were. Hey, Scarlet. I don't know what you're talking about, Ranger. Try remembering something. All right, well, first yeah, things first, though. Take your hat off and let's have a look at that. Sure, I'll take my hat off. I will go to Camp McCarran in a minute. Right now, I well, need to go to the New Vegas well, Medical Clinic. See any cuts? <sighs> no, so am I. I don't see any cuts. So if they're Hello. For, Where's the doctor? Head, I really need me. to see them. Hey, Doc. I hate to, I hate to bug you. You're back. Do you need medical attention? Uh, can you cure my addiction? You really ought to avoid using those kinds of chems, but I'll see what I can do. Here's the caps. All right, sit still and let me work. Ah, thank you. Uh, 50 bottle caps to remove addiction. Oh, that is much better. Dear God, I, I don't even... I was probably more buff out than man there. Oh, yeah. It has it eats through two mouths. It's gonna produce a bunch of shit. I took Trauma with me and drove back to Live Oak. There's no cut do, on do, do. everything else. His print matched the one on the gas cap. I stopped at the hospital and Trauma consented to have his blood type taken. When the doc gets through testing that, he'll only tell you what I told you before. My blood type is O. Come in. And pop. Yeah, Mr. Raver. You ever see this man before? He looks like a fella. Why, you Dude. hold it, hold it. Hey, what's up? Well, Mr. Raver, is he or isn't he? I've seen him before. Where? Was he the man who climbed out of that wreck? Look, mister, maybe you didn't mm. see me before. I run a gas station 30 miles... Keeley just called in. You should have heard the director. But I... Wait up. Now look here. She wouldn't let him finish a sentence. Just reamed him out for sending all those people to the vault. <laughs> I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. Thanks for keeping her safe. Here's the caps I promised. I knew I had a good feeling about you. I try my best. Of course. Anything. Uh. The director? He's very well spoken and knowledgeable. Uh huh. He seems focused result on results. Maybe not so much on people. He's not what you'd call warm. Unless he wants something from you. And even then, it's kind of a cold warm. Most of the time, I focus on the science and try to forget him. He doesn't get mixed up in any actual work, though he tells people that he does. Ah, so Dr. Hilton takes credit for your work? He sure does. Everyone knows it. I've just got to endure this job until the project is finished. <laughs> but abandoning Keeley, he crossed a line. Taking credit for other people's work is one thing. Sending people to die in the waste is another. If Hildren tries to recruit any more mercs, I'm gonna warn them. What can he do to me? I'm the only one who can run this lab. Hey. Right. Stay safe. Alright. Hey, Doc. I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. It seems we have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very charitable of you. Brought the data from Vault 22. Wonderful. Excellent work. Let me see it. It'll take a moment to decode on my terminal. No problem. I can wait. I think William's decryption algorithms seem to be working. Yes, here it is. The data is mostly uncorrupted. This will make the board of directors finally sit up and take notice. Here then, as promised, an agreeable sum payable upon delivery of the data. You've more than done your part. I'd be very careful with that, Eddie. You didn't see those plants in the vault. Your concerns are perfectly understandable, but I assure you, they're entirely misplaced. We would never use technology that wasn't fully tested. We aren't some motley band of vault alchemists. We're with the government, for goodness sake. 
Have a little faith in us. Absolutely not. Oh shit, that's a lot of XP. Hey, level up. Okay, what do we got? Eighty. Here's the knife, just like you left it. Fresh honed and clean as a whistle. So I could get my speech to ninety. Actually. I want 50 in guns because like so many of my things are like level 50 like kind of required drawings around it looks like trees like some scene he was burning out while he right, let's go there all right what do we got let's get up that way and see if we can find a doc who stitched a head cap Retention. Swift learner feels like it wouldn't be a bad idea. There were three doctors in a twenty-mile radius. The first one had nothing for us, but the second one. Yes, I stitched a head. Day four yesterday. Running gun. Joe Foy fell off his horse. Matter of fact, he was in here this morning, about three hours ago, to have the dressing. Fortune finder. Gunslinger. One you changed was in that trash container, isn't it, Doc? Lead belly might not be bad. Can you get that dressing out and check it for blood type? Toughness. Wait a couple of days for this, Doc. I can wait a few more minutes. Grunt. Twenty-five percent more damage. Unusual classifications. How they do? That's it, Chase. Yeah. The nest. What are we thinking? Matherath might be nice. Here and now would also be very useful. Is that even worth it? Yeah, not really? Okay. I'm because I've already got misfortune. Dude, does that stack with mysterious stranger? Or is it just I have one or the other? Or it does it give me a chance? Okay. Ooh. That might not be a bad idea. Hey, what is it? Strong back. Fifty more pounds. That might be nice. Fellow at the service station said our man was chewing when he stopped there. Yeah, and I've seen this brand of chew before. It feels like sneering imperialist might be a good idea, or just straight up grunt, because nine millage and. SMGs, service rifles, assault, marksman carbines, light machine guns, frag grenades, grenade rifles, launchers, and combat knives. Yeah. Or maybe. I don't see 556 on there, so. gas station. I'm gonna take charcoal out of the trailer mm. and ride out to the range. And I'll get a horse from the corral. Maybe you running gun. But you better stick here. If boy spots Service rifles are five five six. Oh. Pickup truck. You stay here and see if he doesn't get Maybe So I'm thinking either running gun finesse uh math or grunt Doc had him patched up. I know hmm. about that. 
Grunt. Alright, cool. And now I actually bump my guns up to 50. I can now use the uh, that gun perfectly along with lever act my lever action. The only thing I can't really use is the flamer. The yeah, the only one that is the flamer. Everything else is good and what? <laughs> I just realized what I did. I need to go to the gun runners quickly. Okay, she went back to the Mojave outpost. Let me go grab her quick and send her to the Lucky 38. Alright. But now that I actually have the gun skill to use this stuff, I have a feeling they're going to start hitting a lot harder. Like, that gun was already, like, absolutely clapping cheeks. But like, hey. Oh. Well, now look what rolled in. What you getting lonely out there? Yep. Looking to join up with me again. Was reminded why I left this place soon as I walked in. Let's go. Hell yeah. What does Whiskey Rose do again? When they drink whiskey. Additionally, player does not suffer intelligence loss from consuming alcohol and ignores the negative effects of alcohol addiction. I'm about to get very, very crunk. Background? Just... What, caravan? Oh. Nah. Well, now that I'm free of the outpost, was wondering if you'd mind making a detour. Oh, sure. I'd like to pay my respects to the end of Cassidy Caravans. Check out the site where they died. Where was your caravan Upside hit? Upside of Vegas, here tell. Trapped at the Mojave outpost, so I wasn't able to run there when I heard. Been weeks since it was hit, so the site's probably a Cazador nest by now. Oh. I have to catch word Got of it. word back on what happened from Rangers. Guess they found enough in the wreckage to identify it. Well, I still wouldn't mind going there and crossing my heart a few times, if only to make me feel a little better. Yeah. I got them into this mess. I owe them that much. Let's go then. Thanks. I appreciate it. Some of the caravan might be ash. But we were expecting raiders and over inquisitive NCR border guards. There might be something left. If I'm there with you, shouldn't be hard to spot. And I'd prefer to see the bodies with my own eyes. Alright. Alright then. Alright, let's go. Thankfully, I've already found it. So I can just go. Ah, God damn it. In every weedy flake. You know the value of whole wheat. Necessary vitamins, minerals too. And whole wheat energy worth talking about. Go ahead. God, there's almost nothing left. Looks like whoever it was was just in the mood for killing. Most of the cargo's ash, too. Not hmm. burn, looks like disintegrated. When I heard the reports, Wait. I assumed ash meant burned. Uh, so close to the Vegas wall, too. 
Don't that beat all. Must have happened during the day, though. They hadn't made it. So camp. disintegrate. So plasma weapons. Is there anything? We should check the wagon. They may not have got everything. Whatever we find, it's yours. Least I can do for hoofing it. Hey, all welcome back, AJ. You have defied Kaisar for the last time. Your life ends now. What? Side note, I hit a lot harder now. Ow. That's feeling a little worse. Oh, that ain't good. This is this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. You do it. Listen for Dennis Day and Judy Canova returning October seventh on NBC. The National Broadcasting Company presents Joel McRae in Tales of the Texas Rangers. Tonight, transcribed from Hollywood, another case from the Texas Rangers. Okay. Oh. I thought I was dead there. Now from the files of the Texas Rangers All right. come these stories based on fact. Only names, dates, and places are fictitious. Give me that. Give me that. Got him. Okay. God damn. Oh, give me that. Hey, welcome back, Cass. 